Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Do subscribe down below if you have not done so and leave me a thumbs up if you like the video or a comment if you have any questions. So for those of you guys who just got your keys, congratulations. You're about to embark on a little journey that most of us homeowners have done. Uh, it's called renovation. And I've got a handy little trick for you guys before you start your renovation to crystallize your ideas and to communicate uh, with your uh, contractor or your ID better uh, and avoid you know miscommunication so do stay tuned for this handy little tip and i'll see you in a bit so with everything uh, communication is key and there are many players in the whole renovation process if you got your designers you've got your contractors you've got subcontractors electricians you've got your plumbers and everyone's going to come together and they're going to try to piece together your house it's like a massive jigsaw puzzle and most often the designers or the contractors would pass you something like that and this is a floor plan with all the electrical works and the, the, the paint works, the built-in cabinets, and they're all going to go in there. And um, it's, a, it, it, it's pretty much a lot uh, for someone to take in, even, even yourself. So as part of the design process, you want to be able to crystallize your thoughts and to pass this on to your respective uh, interior designers or contractors, subcontractors. And I've got a simple uh, system that does not need any or minimal computer work. Uh, for those of you guys who do not have a design software or uh, a 3D modeling program or any design uh, so-called experience, okay, uh, this will help a lot. Right, so for a start, get yourself your floor plan. You can get this off BCA, URA, any of the authorities, uh, or maybe uh, HDB or wherever your agent should be able to get the floor plan for you. And you get it, you zoom it up as much as you can, fill up a, a piece of printer paper so that you can see the rooms as well as all these existing fi uh, fixtures that you have inside like the toilet bowls and the, um, the sinks and stuff like that. Remember, the outside walls cannot be demolished. The inside thin walls can de be demolished. I mean, this is just a rule of thumb. And the thick ones, these are structural, so those cannot be demolished as well. So you put two dots on your paper and that acts as location dots for your transparency. So you bring it up here and usually what I like to start off with is the furniture because um, that's going to be what your lights, your fans, your air conditioning, it all revolves around where you're going to be sitting, where you're going to be eating and where you're going to be living your life. So for instance, this is the living room. I'm going to be putting a, let's say, little side table here. And then I'm going to be putting a couch. So I'll just draw something like that. That's my couch. And I'm probably going to be watching TV right here. Uh, I'm thinking of putting a bed on this side. So I'm going to put a master bed here. Okay. And then probably a side table. And I'm going to continue doing that. Over here, I already have one that I've already done. So as you can see, I have my couch, my beds, my studies, my fridge, dryer, TVs, all there. And then you come in and you start thinking, hmm, I want to put a few lights up there. So, get another piece of paper, I mean the uh, transparency, put it on, and let's call this lighting. So, lights. Okay, I, probably I'm going to be sitting here, so I want a fan. Okay, and I want, uh, let's, let's use a ruler, I want some track lights to be on this area. Over here, kids' bedroom, I want a fan. And study is going to be here, so I'll probably put some lights here as well. I'll have a track light. And master bedroom, it's going to be a fan. Right there. Okay. So I've also prepared this. These are fans and lights. So you have fans and lights right there. 
Now I'm gonna think, okay, probably I want this wall to be demolished. I don't like this wall over here. I'm gonna demolish that. So I have another layer, which I call hacking. Okay, and as you can see, I just taped over a piece of paper over the walls that I want to be hacked. And let's say I want this to be done. I have a little piece of paper and some tape, and I'll tape that up as well. Let's put it there. So when I pass this on to my uh, ID or my contractor, they would know, okay, I want this and this wall to be hacked. And then let's talk about flooring. So in this uh, example, some decking, some overlay, and then you can do this. You know, use as many colors as you want. This is built-in furniture. So I indicate where I want my cupboards to be, where my kitchen is, and that would go along with uh, where your furniture is going to be. So remember we have a bed here, so I want a built-in side table. I have a TV, a built-in TV console for my stove, my fridge, my sink, and this is going to be built-in. So with as many layers as you want, you can start building your house up and then it will make sense so you would not have a couch where there's not going to be any fan you're not going to have a study table where there's not going to be any light you know and you know every room with a bed has a fan so you're not going to miss miss out anything uh, by doing this another example is uh, you know if you want to declutter you can take away that leave your built-ins I have glass works so mirrors shower screens. So this goes to the glass man when he, when he comes. Another useful layer is electrical. So over here I've marked out all my existing electrical outlets and all the new electrical outlets. Think if um, it doesn't matter how many electrical outlets you have at home, it is not enough. You always want more. And of course, air conditioning. So if you have your uh, furniture, your furniture lay, you can plan where you want your air conditioning to go. So I put here some air conditioning units and I don't want them really blowing, in, blowing at a wall. I want them blowing into the room in general so there's good circulation. You, know, you face them towards a wall, you don't get the, um, the cooling effect uh, that you need. So by adding all these together, you can actually get a, um, a good idea of what your house is going to look like after everything is done. And you can see the relationship between the, each element of your home, right? And when it comes down to uh, communicating with the, uh, the IDs, let's say I have that. All the electrical guy wants to see is this. He does not bother where your cupboards are going to be. He doesn't bother where your stove is going to be. All he wants to know is where your lights are going to be. All right? You can give him that for the light layout. You can give him this for the electrical socket layout. So he knows where to put in the new sockets. You know? And when the carpenter comes in, You give them that, so he knows where the built-in cabinets are going to be. So with this system, everybody knows where what their role lies, and you as a homeowner, you get to uh, to have a feel where all the items are going to be, and you can track the progress of your renovation as your renovation goes along. In this way, you know, you minimize miscommunication between all parties. You know, you don't have a, a socket that's missing. You don't have a fan that's in the way of lights. Uh, you don't have, you know, missing glassworks, uh, yeah, a space, uh, you know, that, you, that you're wasting. So this gives you a clearer idea and you can do all this without the use of a computer. All you need to do is grab the layers that you want 
you stick it in the uh, in a copy machine and you photocopy just what's required. So as you can see, instead of uh, going to your designer with something like that, and he might miss out some of the uh, finer details, you can split them up into, like this is lights and fans, okay? You can have your, it, it's easier for your designer or your, your ID to digest what you're trying to, um, to say to him, where the lights are supposed to go, what they're supposed to look like, or in this case, this is, uh, built-in furniture where the furniture is going to go so at each time all right it's easier for the uh, one of these contractors or subcontractors to have a look at your design and instead of this you know the electrical guy is going to miss something the uh, carpenter is going to miss something so communication is key uh, to all parties it makes the relationship between yourself the contractor the uh, in interior designer and the uh, subcontractors much better. Uh, I hope that helped. Do give it a try before you start your renovation process, before you start hunting for an uh, interior designer or a contractor. And uh, I wish you all the best. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the section below and do give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Till next time, take care.